Oklahoma weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. All right, so this was the snowfall totals today, and my apologies, uh, the text is white on white, but uh, I'll fix that for 6 o'clock. But I wanted to show you the snowfall totals so far today over the past uh, 12 hours. You can see the narrow heavy band of about 3 to 4 inches of snow just south of Tulsa, and the metro generally about 3 inches of snowfall, and then northeast about 1 to 2 inches of snow. The heavier band our models were predicting was supposed to stay a little further north, and it dropped down a little further south. So my final prediction for Tulsa is 1.9, so I missed it by 1.1. I apologize for that. I'll do better next time on predicting those exact snow totals for your neighborhood. Meanwhile, generally one to three inches of snow as it was a pretty minor event. However, as I mentioned, the morning commute was going to be rough, and sure enough, it was. And that was the time frame of most concern, and we discouraged travel this morning. Unfortunately, as we saw in the news, numerous accidents reported across the area as most folks had to go to school or work this morning. I get that. All right, so as we look at snow showers moving away from the area, you can see snow to light to moderate across southeastern Oklahoma, northwest Arkansas. This is all moving away. Goodbye. Good luck. Hopefully you don't return until next winter as we do expect warmer weather to prevail. The next 14 days look for above normal temperatures across the area. Not to say we can't have some cool days or maybe some chilly days, but say goodbye to the snow. No snow in sight the rest of this month. 50 on our Saturday as we start to rebound mostly fair skies and 67 on Sunday. Look at the temperature trend. Oh man, it's looking great. 60s and 70s as we look ahead to next week. And uh, Saturday, the coolest day, obviously, is we're still trying to dig out from the cold air, and then temperatures really re begin to rebound next week as well. Rain chances do go up. This is where we're going to have to switch gears now from any wintry precip to thunderstorm activity. And there will be a chance for some thunderstorms Monday afternoon and evening, especially across southeastern Oklahoma. We'll detail that in just a moment. And then another opportunity for rain next Thursday, which I was reminded that is St. Patrick's Day. There is a chance for showers in the area. All right, looking at totals for the next seven days, looking about into rainfall. We need the rainfall, so this would be great. I know it is spring break and outdoor activities are abound for many. Uh, just a couple of days with rain opportunities. Some other days really, really nice across the region. As far as any rain is concerned, this is for Monday afternoon showers, a few thunderstorms will begin to develop. So Monday afternoon looks wet across northeast Oklahoma. We could see some heavier thunderstorms from Stigler down towards the McCurtain County area of southeast Oklahoma Monday evening. So we'll be watching that closely for our friends down southeast. Doesn't look like to be a big severe weather outbreak, but there could be a few isolated severe storms Monday afternoon and evening. Right now, it's just chilly. North winds at 15. We did finally climb above freezing, though. Tomorrow morning, it's going to be cold. Temperatures in the teens to start your morning. By afternoon, near 50 degrees in the metro. Calister 53 and prior coming in at four, uh, 47 degrees. And then we head towards the 60s Sunday, 64 on Monday with a good chance for thunderstorms in the evening. And then 70s with warm weather and chance for more rain and storms next Thursday.